Hey everybody, Skyrim Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we finished off every single little mission in Bianco Hills, including the secret. Uh, one more secret star. So now our total of stars is up to, or shines actually, I actually started calling them shines. Because that's their official name. So we got our shine count all the way up to 11. 11, 11, guys, no. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to go check out what that gooey piranha plant over there by the docks is all about. We have to say, Peach, though. Welcome back. So We're so glad you're safe, Garner. This vacation's just been a whirlwind of bizarre events, huh? And now the boat to the hotel isn't even running. Well, god dang, it sounds like a job for us to fix. Oh, excuse me, I burped. We got ourselves a pool of water. But anyway, this uh, gooey piranha looks a tad bit different, wouldn't you say? Almost. As if it's a whole different color, you know? It's it's black this time instead of brown. I'm sure there's like a race joke waiting to be made at that moment. Oh. Alright, so now we got ourselves a black gooey piranha plant. I fell underwater. I fell under the water. Um, by the way, uh thing about these guys is that if you take too long to uh, attack them, um uh, they will actually end up going back to uh, under the ground, or not under the ground, but back into their little hidey hole. And, uh, you know, hide from you. I'm gonna do it with the lane way, because I'm feeling lazy. Um, but the good thing, or not the good thing, but the thing about these black ones is that, uh, they're gonna be back for round two, and they'll take six hits to kill. I wanna take care of them. Stop it. Alright, there we go. And we got him. There we go. We took care of him, guys. We sure showed him who's boss. What's in that vibration, bro? I'm not sure if you can even hear it. We got ourselves another victim. Come on, hit me. I want some black ink here. It's gone. Um, uh, there's this little thing in here. We could talk about it right now. But I'm gonna save that for another topic. Uh, well, it is another topic, but I'm gonna save it for another day. Hey, a boat. I believe now the boats will actually start moving now, once you clear this up. But as we can see here, we got our, our, we got ourselves in our portal to check out. So, what do you say we go check it out to right now? Well, I mean, I, I said that sentence poorly. Poor sentence, everybody. Welcome to Rico Harbor, Episode 1. Gooper Blooper Breaks Out. Oh, boy. Let me tell ya, if there's one thing that- one level that screams nostalgia to me, it's not other than this level. We've got lots of black ink, so just listen to the music. Yeah, 
Uh, again, apologies for the minor clicking in the background, but I just love this song so much. Rico Harbor, as you can tell, is like a harbor, you know? You got all your stuff, you got your crates, you got your stuff, and we got ourselves a bloody trail right here. No, I'm kidding. No, it's just a bunch of ink, but we got a hand here. So what we want to do is we want to squash the hand, uh, and we want to pull out the arm. Eat ourselves the next boss of the game, Gooper Blooper. Starting off, you're gonna want to spray his face, and when you do that, you're gonna want to—I failed there—but you're gonna want to step on his hands. You'll see why. And once you step on his hands and crush his little, little floppy hands, you're gonna want to take care of him. You want to keep on spraying his face until you get rid of at least two of his hands. Doesn't matter which ones, but you just want to get rid of two. Recommended the two front ones, but I think I actually failed taking care of that. I took care of the back one. Because he'll come smack you. But our goal was to simply just pull off that little... I don't know what was on his mouth, but it was something. But now he's angry. He's pissed now. Now we gotta take care of that. We don't want a pissed blooper on our side. No, well, he's not really on our side. You're also gonna want to clean his face. Trust me make your life so much easier. I am failing. Um, quick note, you don't really have to clean off his face, but I mean, it's recommended that you, or you don't have to, I mean, you have to clean off his face, but you don't have to rip off his arms, is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to do that. Totally optional. Just makes your life a lot easier if you do, and also it's like you're, you're intended to do that, you know? You're intended to rip off his arms. Also, you don't take care of the front ones. I found it funny that he'd always like smack your face uh, while trying to pull it. He ends up hurting himself. But yeah, that's it. Quite a simple boss. We took care of Goopa Bloopa. Goopa Bloopa. And that's that. Nothing too hard. I dodged the shine like a pro. You can tell I'm a pro because I dodged the shine. So that's ourselves. Or that's ourself? Yes, this is ourself. No, we got ourselves our first star of Rico Harbor. Shine. Sorry. It's gonna take some getting used to. But as you can say, because as you can say, no. We have another gooey piranha plant that we have to take care of, but we're gonna save that for later. You know how it is with that. Alright. Okay, back in the Rico Harbor. Because we got ourselves episode 2, Blooper Surfing Safari. Oh boy. I love ourselves a good old-fashioned Blooper Surfing Safari. Well, they're all the best kind of safaris. So we're going to want to head over here, down to these little guys, the bloopers. I believe this guy has something he wants to tell us. Excuse me, let me talk to you. That's right, that, that's right, I'm the big daddy of blooper surfing. You like surfing? Hop on a blooper and give it a whirl. Oh, but one thing, big daddy waves, waves all liability for accidents. Now hang loose, bud. Yes, we can surf on these bloopers, which is honestly one of my favorite mechanics, and also one of my least favorites. We'll see why soon enough. So there are three speeds. We got the green one, which is super slow, the yellow one, which is the all-around. I recommend going for yellow one, by the way. Unless you want super speed, then I recommend going for the purple one. Yes, purple one's the fastest. I think we're gonna stick with yellow. Not only because I always find it to be the easiest to control, although I do think the green one is the easiest, but it's also the slowest. Uh, but I mean, I, you can deal with any single one. Uh, we got blue coin we could collect, but I'm not going to do I'm not going to collect that doodaddy. Down here, we got ourselves kind of a secret level. Woohoo! You want to go for a ride, bud? Go ahead and jump on a blooper you like best. Go on, show me some super blooper surfing and win yourself a prize. How many lives are we at? We're at 12 lives? Okay. Okay. That's fine. I, I accidentally started the race. Um, I believe you can do this in, like, any time you want. I think you just want to clear it. Actually, no. You don't. You can't take this in any time you want. I think you have to be a certain time. I was gonna be like, oh, you're a failure, and we'll continue the the nice trend of killing you if you fail, like, a simple task. Like, you fail. First death of Mario Sunshine, everybody. But because this is a secret stage, uh, we could just start immediately. You know what? That's fine. I'll, I'll accept that death, because I didn't think we did a good job the first time around. This time, we got it. So, we got ourselves a little bit of an obstacle 
course that we gotta go around. Nothing too hard, but yeah. I mean, that's all there really is to say. Uh, there is two stars, because this is kind of like a secret level. There are two stars to obtain. Um, I do not know the exact time for this. I'll probably post it on screen, but... There, there are two stars to obtain. One for beating it regularly, which is pretty easy to do if you just dodge everything. Um, you can surf on the land. Not recommended. I nearly freaking scratched myself on the wall. Um, I'll post the exact time you need, but if we place the jingle, we can get ourselves a free shine. Easy as that. That's what we gotta do, as his eyes are closed. Alright, get myself a shine. Shine number 13. Here we go. Nice. Yes, yes, I get it. I get it, Delfino Plaza. You wanna show me the nice special level? I love... I love you too, but I mean, come on. Alright, now we're, I'm actually going to cut away back to going into the race. So we can get ourselves our second reward. And I'll explain what we got to do in there. So I'll see you guys in a moment. And we're back. Yes, sir. I would like to take on your race. I would recommend if you got good handling and you're pretty good at this game already, I recommend going for the purple blooper. It's probably your best bet at this, but you can do it with the yellow one. Just don't do the green one. Trust me. Green one is your worst nightmare because not only is it slow, you're probably not going to get the extra reward. It could probably get you by for the regular one, but for the secret star, yeah, we're going to need to kind of cut corners a little bit. We're going to need to be quick about it. We're going to need to be quick on our feet. Get on our tippy toes and get through this. Uh, I think so far we're off on a good start. I hope we are at least. I'm probably doing a horrible job. Uh, just to save time, you can kind of like jump over walls, which I recommend you do, at least the last one. Because I believe if you get sub 40 seconds... What do you have to say? Pretty weak, but that time's not even come back after you've conquered the kiddie pool. Dang it, it's not one of the ones where they just kill you and send you back. Nope, if you talk to this man and fail, you gotta do it all over again. Oh, we're, oh, we're, it's already beginning. It's already starting. It's already starting. The struggle begins. Alright, bucko, I'm back for round three. Yes, I do want to ride. Alright, 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 I feel ya, I feel ya. Let's go, this time, this time is the one. This is the one, I, I feel it, I feel it in my guts. I sense it in my feet. The Great Emerald Tower allows me to feel. Ask me a question and he vanished in a second. I don't know. Maybe I should see the whole freaking pumpkin hill. It's not Halloween yet though, which is why that would probably not make any, any sense at all. Uh, I don't even think I can memorize it all on the top of my head. Uh, let's try. Before I can even begin, I die. Of course. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, let's start from the top. Uh, you know me, the Fine Freak Knuckles, and we're at Pumpkin Hill. You ready? I ain't gonna let it get to me, I'm just gonna creep. Down Pumpkin Hill, I gotta find my little feet. I know that it's here, I sense it in my feet. The Great Emerald Tower allows me to feel. Ask me a question and vanish in a second. I know that it's here, I sense it in my feet. We got ourselves the secret of Shine Sprite. Hooray, hip hip hooray, round four. That was the secret. That was the secret. I just had to sing Pumpkin Hill. You, you, you know how it was. Alright, so we got ourselves Shine Sprite number four. Teen. I'm not wrong. Don't. Don't criticize me. Don't chatstize. Chatstize me. Chatstize. Is that the right term? I'm not sure. Alright, so due to the. Due to how things are in Rico Harbor, I will say that this next shine is going to be our last one. I know it's like, Caleb, you're supposed to do episode 4 every time to wrap things up. I mean, I could, but then again, it's like, you'll, you'll see why next episode, why I decided to kind of just wrap it up here on episode 3. Not only because that last mission took us quite a bit of time to get the secret star, but also our secret shine. Sorry, secret shine. Shrine? No, secret shine. Uh, also, I just, you'll, you'll see why. There's reasons why I'm doing things the way I am. Uh, now, the game is telling us... I, I had a voice crack, sorry about that. Oh, excuse me. Jesus Christ, I'm burping a lot. Um, 
the game is telling us that we gotta go this way and go through all that crap over there, which, I mean, it's easy enough, don't get me wrong. Or we can do it the Chad way. What's the Chad way, you ask? Why we just do this? Simple as that. We just kind of go, go on ahead, we go through that, we do a backflip up here, get onto this boat, get on top of the boat. Um, I forgot to mention that this new enemy here, we got ourselves a bloop. Brrr. Dang, this game's gonna, it's gonna beat me up, isn't it? I'm struggling to Regal Harbor, who knows what's next? Alright, buddy, round two! God dang it. Alright, fucko, screw you. I'm going off of these guys. Yeah, these, you, you might have guessed it. They're bloopers. You can stun them with water or just send them pumping to a freaking untimely death. I'll figure it out, bro. I, I just watched him. He, he didn't even have a chance to say his name. Uh, yeah. So we could have gone through all that obstacle course down there, but it's unnecessary, in my opinion. This dude just chilling there. Um, where are we gonna wanna go? Where do I wanna go? Kind of chill. I remember I freaking just to say I cheated the crap out of this, but I mean, I guess it's not wrong. Uh, you can kind of skip around a lot if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I want to go over here though, because you know, who doesn't want a free rocket nozzle? Ouch! Darn tornadoes. No, I saved! Fudge. Fudge, bro. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. Now we gotta go on these little springy. I'll save myself! Oh! oh man. You know, I wasn't wrong. I did save myself, actually. Holy cow. I'm impressed I even managed to do that. Okay, 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 okay. I think now with the rocket nozzle, we can kind of jump below that and we can kind of cheat it, but that's boring. Who wants to cheat a level, am I right? I mean, I guess I kind of did. But, oh, the irony, the irony of what I just said. I bet you guys are giggling right now. Yeah, uh, that's all there is. Ground pound. The reason I said we can probably cheat. Well, yeah, actually we could with the rocket nozzle, but you'd have to unlock it first. So it's like you might as well just go the regular way, but for future notes, you can't actually cheat. Uh, save yourself a couple of minutes. But yeah, that's it. That's the shine. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, we're doing ourselves a good job today. We're doing it, fellas. Alright. Well, I think that's going to end off this episode. I know it wasn't as long as the other ones. I think it's actually either this or the first episode's pretty short, but... Yeah, I expect these to happen every once in a while. Not too much, but like... Occasionally, depending on how long things take. Um... Oh, don't worry. There, we'll, we'll have these moments soon enough. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna save. No, I mean I am after this recording. What am I trying to say? No, what I'm saying is we started off Rico Harbor. We unlocked the world actually first off, and we did the first three episodes, and also got ourselves our first secret star in the world. So I think that's a good place to stop. Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we're gonna be trying our best to finish off every single thing to do left in Rico Harbor for the time being. What do I mean by that? Well, y'all just have to wait till the next episode to figure that out. See you guys then.